Hey nerds, I finally watched the Living World Season 1 video that Dreamy Abaddon put together, which includes people like Iron Maiden, Wooden Potatoes, and so on and so forth. And it documented everything from finding out about Scarlet Briar to learning about rocks and Bram and air and a whole bunch of people. And I have a lot of questions and I have a lot of theories. <laughs> and so I wanted to post all of my theories that I think will come up eventually in the game here before I start Living World Season 2. I suppose my biggest theory, and you could probably call it a tinfoil hat theory, is that Scarlet Briar, originally Kiara, when she had seen past the Eternal Alchemy, which I'm kind of attributing to like the life stream and you know that the essence of life and things like that because everything has a place in the eternal alchemy and when she saw past it what actually told her to do everything that she did or try to wake up the dragon i think she actually heard mordramoth which would make sense because of the jungle and nature and they're born you know the pale tree in the jungle and nature. And Living World Season 2 starts off in the Maguma jungle. And so I think the reason that we go there is because of Mordramoth, which I'm really excited about. I also think that the reason the Pale Tree is so scared and doesn't want people to deter from Ventari's teachings is because the Pale Tree doesn't want her little Savari to know more than they actually know because their awakening actually has more to do with Mordramoth than anything. And it might even be that they're like offspring or they're there because of Mordramoth. And the reason that I think this is because in the tutorial, in the starting area for the Silvari, I joked about fighting the tree dragon. And I did see in the Living World Season 2 Return uh, trailer that same dragon. And I actually think that it's a dragon lieutenant of Mordramoth. So, that's as far as I've gotten with that. And then my other big conspiracy theory is that the human gods have something to do, to do with the resurgence, the continued resurgence of the dragons. And I also say this because they have different elements, which I think coincide with a lot of the human gods. And I think that the human gods left because of something with the dragons. And I think that the human gods haven't returned because of something that connects to the dragons as well. And I love how at the end of Living World Season 1, um, at least in this video, one of the things that you come across is this human teaching kids about the dragons and saying they're not, you know, vehemently evil. They just come about and they have a resurgence like storms and things like that. And I think it's almost like a Final Fantasy X thing where some people know too much or they've built too much or they've tapped into the ley lines too much. <laughs> Asura. Which I actually knew that the dragons were sucking up, and I knew that that's why Scarlet Briar was trying to use the Flame Legion and the Dredge to get down into the earth to either come into contact with the dragon or come into contact with the ley lines or figure out how to wake the dragon up. I actually did also know that before she went crazy, she, even though she strayed uh, from the Pale Tree and her wild hunt, because she didn't believe that it was actually what she thought and her purpose, because it was given to her, that she wasn't as crazy. Um, and she actually was very intelligent and wrote a lot of things. And I'm making all of these assumptions off of what I read in the books in the Priory <laughs> about Scarlet Briar and about the dragons and about people that were tracking down the dragons. Um, and trying to find out why they would have a resurgence. And I actually think that unless they're woken up, it's on a schedule and it's on a schedule for a purpose. And I think that's also connected to the human gods, which is why people are so excited about End of Dragons with Cantha. So I don't know if any of these things are correct. I'm excited to find out as I play through the game and the story. Um, but of course, I don't want any spoilers. So I wanted to post this for you guys here so you could see what I thought. I absolutely enjoyed it. Um, Battle on the Breachmaker was amazing. Uh, the rest of the battle for Lion's Arch and the idea that they actually had the rebuilding of Lion's Arch in the game over many months and you could actually see the changes and that they incorporated that into the video was really 
really cool. And I will actually be posting my full reaction in parts to this video. It's three hours and 24 minutes long. Um, and I did do it on stream. I did it in a watch party. So I will be cutting that up and posting that on YouTube so that you guys can see that. And then the other thing is, obviously, I want to make sure that I don't see anything that might give anything away. And so if a comment looks like it could possibly be a spoiler because I do read my comments, I'll probably have Chalk read it first uh, before he okays it um, to make sure that, you know, nothing goes wrong for me and that I don't get anything, any excitement taken away from me. Anyway, I really love this game. Um, and again, I'm an arena net partner, so I will have links for you to try out Guild Wars 2 or create another account in Guild Wars 2. The base game is completely free, and everything I just mentioned is in a video on YouTube. Again, look up Dreamy, uh, Dreamy Abaddon. I will actually have the link to that video in the description as well. But if you want to support me, you can download the game and try it out. And if you decide that you want to purchase the expansions, it's one fee for both expansions, and there's no subscription. So both of those support me. One of them actually supports me with nothing coming from you. And again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what your thoughts are, but don't be too spoilery. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this little conspiracy theory video. And don't forget to check out the stream on Twitch and all of the links in the description. I will see you guys at the next one. And the next one will probably be my reaction to Living World Season 1 video, part one. <laughs> Thanks, guys.